Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, first off, sorry about missing the past couple days. We had uh, some of the supervisors up here, and I really didn't feel like getting yelled at for bullshit on my phone while I was work. So I just uh, kind of did my job like I was supposed to, and I avoided as much trouble as possible. But uh, I'm back. This video, I uh, wasn't really sure what to talk about and you know, what I was going to do for it, but figured I'd uh, give my thoughts on working third shift or night shift or something like that. And, um, you know, because, and, and it's going to be different for people depending on where you work or what you do. Uh, you know, how you feel about night shift. Also, you know, another big factor is the region you live in. Like, somebody that lives in the more southern states than here, like Florida, places like Texas or stuff like that, it's a little different. But, you know, I figured I'd uh, let y'all know what I think and I'd get y'all's opinion on it. So, um, past about three years, uh, I've been, been mainly on night shift. I had maybe one or two jobs I didn't work night shift, but, uh, for the most part, I've worked night shift of some sort, and to me, the working this time of day suits me more. Uh, I'm more used to work or being awake at this time, so it kind of, kind of just easier for me. Um, now with this job, I didn't really have a choice of when I worked. Unlike other jobs, I kind of just applied, and that's the time they gave me, so it just worked out. Um, and like I said in a, one of the previous videos I made. My girlfriend pretty much works the same hours as I do. Slight variation. So it works out. We get to see each other more. Uh, but, you know, and with a job like this on night shift, it's a lot quieter. You don't have to deal with as many people. It's a little more relaxing than it would be on like first shift or second shift where you have people here moving around you kind of gotta focus a little bit more you got people talking to you and I, i'm not a people person i hate people <laughs> honestly i'm not i i could not work a retail job ever i would end up getting fired for smacking the shit out of a stupid person but yeah, so being on third shift, I don't have to really talk to anybody except for the two people I work with on the shift. And then, you know, like my supervisor and the next shift in the morning. So that's it. So I don't, like I said, I don't have to deal with people. It's great for me. Um, it's just more relaxing on third shift for me. Uh, some of the downsides to it, though. Um, especially in South Carolina the weather here is fucking bipolar as hell so you could have all day it'd be like 70 degrees outside and you're running you know AC in your vehicle and then by 9 o'clock at night it's 40 degrees outside and you have to use your heat and you know, it's just, I'm not a cold person either. Like, I hate people. I hate the cold. So, for me, nights like this, it's 39 degrees outside already. And it's beginning of November. Which means this winter is going to suck for me. Because I hate, hate cold weather. Except for when I'm sleeping. Now, when I'm trying to sleep, it's nice and cold. It's perfect. But 
when I'm up trying to do shit, the cold weather just makes me tired. Puts me in a bad mood. But that's one of my downsides. Another one that I have, uh, I actually had to deal with tonight. Uh, now it's right now it's Sunday morning for I think it's Sunday morning. Yeah, it's Sunday morning, uh, November 4th. And uh, for those of y'all that don't know, tonight is the night that the time changes. I think it goes back an hour. And um, that becomes an issue for me because my, my shift overlaps the time change. So I end up going from, I have to end up working an hour more than I normally would. And it, it kind of just fucks with me, especially when I'm sitting here. Like, I'll check the time every once in a while. So when it comes to that time change, I'll ch probably end up checking my phone before it changes. And then after it changes, it's going to confuse the shit out of me. But, yeah, having to work that extra hour just kind of messes with my sleep. Gets on my nerves. But the good thing about the time change is, like I said, I have to work an hour extra. And that hour extra will be technically overtime. So, I'll get time and a half for that one hour. And, I mean, it'll be nice. A little bit of extra money. Probably all of it will be taxed out, but it is what it is. Um... Trying to think. Uh, but yeah, that's with this job. Now with some of the other jobs I work night shift. Uh, most of you know I worked at the prison. And that was a, a 12 hour shift. 7 to 7. I mean. I didn't really have an issue working 12 hours. Like I've told y'all before, the issue I had with that job was the the supervision. The the higher ups there didn't know what they were doing. Um, and one of the other jobs I had working night shift was at BMW. Fucking noises. Now working at BMW on night shift was probably the worst job. I've ever had and the, the issue I had there was if you worked on night shift they did not give a shit about you if something got fucked up on day shift night shift got blamed for it if machinery and stuff went down day shift got sent home early if machinery and shit gets shut down in night shift you're still staying there for your full shift. Which I mean, whatever, you're still paying me, but I'm sitting here for 11 hours staring at a fucking wall. I get bored. We're not allowed to sit there and play on our phones, do nothing like that. And you're sitting in an area by yourself, sitting there staring at a wall, or the ceiling, or the floor, or like talking to yourself. So, that was the issues I had with night shift there. Plus, they, they ran, BMW ran on a point system. Pretty much what that is, is if you were late, you got, or if you were late by so many minutes, you got half a point. Uh, if you're any later than that, or you missed a full day, you got a point. And if you got more than two points within 90 days, you got fired. So, what had happened with that is um, I ended up having. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. So that was that was for the point. That point system worked for normal, your normal shift. But we had uh, weekends. We had to work mandatory overtime on Saturdays. And what had happened 
there with the points is if you missed, or all your points on mandatory overtime doubled. So if you missed a day, instead of getting one point, you'd end up getting two points. So if you missed one Saturday, you were fired. And um, what had happened is I had gone in on a Saturday and about an hour into the shift, uh, I ended up, I, I went and used the restroom and I ended up having two kidney stones. Uh, and I, I went up to the medical station at BMW and explained to the nurse there what was going on and she gave me paperwork from her BMW staff that said I needed to go to the hospital and uh, get, get it dealt with. So I took that paperwork to my supervisor at BMW and my supervisor for the company that I worked for. And they both said it was okay and everything. So I, I left, I went to the hospital, sat at the hospital for six hours in the waiting room and ended up just passing the kidney stones while I was, you know, in the waiting room. Uh, ended up leaving the hospital, and when I went back to work, I think I was technically off the next day. And the, the next day I went, I, I was scheduled to work, I went back in, and the supervisor for the company that I worked for called me up to his office and told me that I had two points because I missed work Saturday or I missed more than so much time Saturday and I had gotten points added after they had sent me to the hospital for that so I ended up getting screwed out of the job there but um like I said, there was a lot of issues with the, the staff at BMW and how they treated night shift. I wasn't planning on staying that long anyway, but it was kind of fucked up how I got screwed out of that job because of medical reasons. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's what it is. So yeah, I, I kind of, kind of doing this shit. I kind of just get off topic real quick and just start bullshitting. But yeah, back, just uh, just kind of recap issues. Uh, positives about night uh, night shift. Uh, I'm normally up at this time, so the shift kind of works with my sleep schedule. Uh, my girlfriend works at about the same hours, so we get to see each other more, uh, spend more time together. It just works out like that. It's good. Uh, my issues with night shift: the weather, especially around here, it's bullshit be fucking 70 degrees all day and then when I come into work it's 30 degrees and I gotta walk around outside and deal with that bullshit um, the time change kind of fucks with me and then uh, you know it's another good thing for night shift is I don't have to deal with people but it is what it is so uh, yeah that's my, that's my thoughts on working night shift uh, if any of you work night shift Let me know what you think down below. Um, whether you whether you like it, whether you don't like it, whatever. Uh, one second. I don't know if you can hear me in this room. Let me just clear this real quick. But yeah, let me know what you think about working night shift down below. If you work a different shift, if you work day shift, if you work second shift, let me know like the good and bad things about the shift you work on. Uh, whether you enjoy it, whether you would rather work a different shift, whatever. Just let me know down below. But I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed.
Uh, and if you did, you know, show some support. Let me know some other topics down below you want me to talk about. Or would just like some insight about from somebody else. Something you've been thinking about, whatever. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.